The school was represented in the quiz by Rihanna Batiste, Ambrosia Charles and Dejana Wilson. Dejana Wilson says they are happy with the victory at the quiz. Well, we feel very proud and excited, elated and relieved because I don't think none of the teammates wanted to end our legacy of winning consecutively. So when we won, we feel like we leave them very proud of ourselves, like we achieved something great as we continue the legacy of the school winning the food and nutrition quiz. Andy Andrew, the food and nutrition teacher, notes a lot of work went into preparing the students for the quiz. A lot of work would have gone into preparation, even though... Um, and uh, we had two Form 5 students and a, and a Form 4 student there. And there was some material that uh, we would not have previously covered in class. Uh, and so that meant uh, putting in some extra hours uh, to cover that material to get them quiz ready. Um, at the end of the day, it paid off because uh, the stu we would have come out um, champion. Two Form 5 students were part of the team. Ms. Andrew said this would be beneficial to the students as they will be sitting the food and nutrition exam soon. There is a benefit for the fifth formers because on Monday they will be sitting food and nutrition. And so whatever else that um, they would have learned or revised through preparation for the um, quiz would get them even more ready for um, food and nutrition exam on Monday. So we're not looking, <clears throat> and we're happy to have one, but uh, the real benefit uh, comes from um, enabling the children to um, become more competent at sitting the exam. And you know, despite the challenges faced by the school, they continue to perform excellent. For winning the quiz, the school was awarded with a prize of $500.